Welcome to First Look, brought to you by DigiKey and Maxim Integrated. Wearable health monitors and the environments these devices are demanded to perform in put pressure on the system designer to ensure that these systems are always accurate and reliable. This is especially critical in medical crossover applications like wellness monitoring and performance training, where inaccurate information can lead to possible physical damage. A major issue is that the wearable health monitors encounter real-world conditions that are often vastly different from the specifications usually followed when making consumer products. A wristband made to commercial standards may wind up in a busy restaurant kitchen, an environment as harsh as a manufacturing environment. Heart rate detection is near a ubiquitous feature of wearables today. Even the latest luxury watch manufacturers are now making hybrid watches with mechanical movements and electronic sensors that communicate with the user's smartphone. Many people embrace the ability to monitor their heart rate to assess their stress levels, sleep quality, and overall well-being. Based on a technique called photoplethysmography, or PPG, the heart rate is obtained by illuminating a patch of skin with an LED, usually green, and measuring the intensity of the reflected light with a photodiode. The modulated current that comes out is then digitized and the system microprocessor uses an algorithm to calculate the heart rate. A major challenge in making accurate heart rate measurements with wearable devices involves managing the variation in the illumination conditions the user encounters, either from light leakage during work or exercise or external changes in its intensity. Changing light condition can add noise and artifacts, so the measurement process must be able to compensate for large variations in lighting to prevent spurious readings. Although a feature of many health and fitness devices, the quality of ambient light compensation provided can vary. With an ambient range of up to 25 microamps and an ambient rejection of up to 55 decibels at 120 Hz. In addition, wearable devices need to consume as little power as possible to prolong battery life, while also presenting the smallest possible form factor. This is often difficult because many monitors use several photodiode detectors operating sequentially at high frequency, which puts a large drain on the battery. Maxim Integrated has addressed these issues with the Max86141 Optical Pulse Exometer and Heart Rate Sensor. The Max86141 is an alternative way to optically detect heart rate, oxygen saturation, and muscle oxygen saturation using two photodiode detectors simultaneously instead of several sequentially, which provides a couple of advantages. First, operating two channels in parallel uses less power since the LED only needs to be turned on once rather than multiple times for sequential sampling. Second, using two detectors allows for the creation of correlated differential signals, a new form of optical motion detection in which the signals are used by the downstream microprocessor for improved motion compensation. The MAX86141 also uses a picket fence algorithm that can detect and replace rapid changes in ambient lighting when the wearer, or their arm, passes quickly through alternating sunlight and shade. Features of the 2.048 by 1.848 mm, 0.4 mm pitch WLP packaged MAX86141 include an ambient range of 100 microamps and an ambient rejection of 84 decibels at 120 Hz, and a very low power consumption of 120 microwatts. See you next time on First Look.